speed roller and it had a handle on it there but it's very hard to feed your material through the bead roller whilst winding it if you're on your own yeah so go just go back what's a bead roller for um it's for putting a flat sheet of metal you can put a ridge on it um so if you want to make a floor pan instead of just having a flat floor pan yeah yeah you can put a bead all the way around it a dip so it makes it much more solid and then you can put lines in across it and things like that okay um so yeah it's quite a good handy tool you've got all different formers for it for different size dents and all that sort of stuff i need to get some more wheels and clean it all properly like i say this is more of an experiment at the moment but i had a so instead of having that handle to wind it and you've got to try and look at what you're doing and feed it through whilst yeah. a lot of people put steering wheels on them weld a steering wheel on and you can turn it like that with a steering wheel dish coming this way yeah but i had a motor off of a a welding drive so it's come in handy that welding drive because i made the gearbox holder over there for the harley gearboxes out of it yeah and i've taken the motor off and put it on here so you've got a foot pedal now you can stand here and work on your piece yeah so depending on what speed you want to go very good so you can turn it up turn it down realistically what you should have <clears throat> I'll see if I can get one you can take that switch out of there that variable speed switch and put it on a foot pressure one okay so the harder you press it the faster it'll go because obviously you want to go slower around corners okay if you can so at the moment you still have to change the speed by yeah, hand there just by hand there okay so you get it set up because so, obviously once it's set up you will have resistance so you yeah. have to turn the motor up a little bit more you loosen that one loosen that one and that'll let you put your material in yeah i don't i've never tried a material this thick it may work it may not i don't know but i haven't got any other thinner metals on uh which way should we go that way I'll start on straight and you want to go about one One and a half, one and a bit, that should do up to start with. Lock up your former. Okay. That will just stay there. And get your pedal where you're comfortable. And see if it bead rolls, just give it a little bit more. Okay. Now nice and slowly. No speed race, you know what I mean? So just take your time, get it where you want it to be. Yeah. See the lip coming in? Yeah. It's getting a bit of resistance now, so we'll have to speed her up a little bit. Should clean the metal, there's rust on it, rust on the wheels, you know. It's just, just demonstration purposes only. Yeah. Well, more to see if the motor would work. Oh, that's a bit too fast now. So, take him down a little bit. See, well, I mean, if you had that on a pedal, because yeah. you've got to feed it around the corner, you don't want it going fast, you know. Yeah. So I'll have to get a setup which is variable speed on the pedal. They're only about twenty quid, I think. So, a bit like a sewing machine, then. Yeah. But a very, very handy tool for fabrication, you know. Make sure you're comfortable with it because you can. You don't have to have the material hanging out of there, you see, because that slot goes all the way there. Yeah. So you could have started with that in there and worked to that side. Yeah. Um, so you can get all sorts of different shapes and things on them, you know. Well, see, I've just found that out now. You can actually push that as well, which helps it along. Yeah. So I can set it then, push it when I'm going through the straights, and yeah. it'll go faster, and then I can just not push it on the corners.
So that's obviously on a thinner metal. You could try and go around that again, but the chances of keeping it on the swage yeah. are very difficult. I mean, that's that's thicker than you'd normally use for a floor pan. Yeah. Um, you can go down tighter on that and wind your wires, but you know your motor speed up. But just just as a trying to, so I've only did one pass on it the other day, so that's just to see what's going on, you know. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, as a first attempt, it's pretty good, I think. So you bendy bit of metal, non-bendy bit of metal. Yeah. You don't want your floor pans plonking up and down. Yeah. So then, once you've done that, you want to really tighten it up. We'll change the wheels over. Probably that one. Do you want to explain your slightly puffed up face, Toyash? I have an abscess on my tooth and it's very, very annoying and very, very painful. And if I had a gun, I'd shoot myself. Twice. <laughs> Gordon said he'd do it for me. That's what friends are for. Yeah. So I've been not sleeping, I've been dribbling. I've been taking enough painkillers to kill a cart horse. And yet still you're standing. Still standing. Right, so if you wanted to strengthen that up even more, so that would be where your feet go in a floor pan, say. Yeah. So you dip down, you don't want it raised up because it makes all your carpets look funny. You can now put a trough in there and there. Okay. And that will make it much, much, much more solid again. What it'll do, there is a way of doing it, but I can't remember which way up you do it. You put it on the English wheel first. Yeah. And you put a pre-bend in it. So you'll bend it that way, and then when you put your dent groove in that way, it will come back out flat, or near enough flat. So, look, this is just an experiment, really. So, again, you want to go one. That should be about it. Two in. I'm going to put a windy handle on that. And I'll probably put a cam locker on this. So you haven't got to keep doing it up by hand, you know? Obviously you can change it. If you want your lip to come up, instead of going down, you can flip your material over, or you can change the wheels top to bottom. Yeah. Um, quite a versatile thing, really. Once you, one of the things, once you get your head around how it all works, it's very easy. And we're going to be coming about there. That's just a moment of everything's getting jammed up in it, you know? This is where you want to make sure your wheels are clean and the metal's clean. That's just picking up on all the rust. Yeah. That's that. See how it's put that curve in it? Yeah. Now, if we go back that way, it'll arc it probably, but it's, um, it's just strengthening it all up, you know? But like I say, you do need to run it through with clean metal. But like I say, it's been sitting in the other unit for God knows how long, so I thought I might as well give it a go, you know? That's it. Ow, that's sharp. Oh, not again. <laughs> See, I went two turns on that. You'd probably get away with going up a little bit shallower. But like I say, is for something that was sitting around. You can really, really, really beef these up. They put big triangles on them and all sorts of things, but it's not going to be used enough to warrant it, really. That went well. Yeah, but that's too fast, so you can't keep it in a straight line. When it's, but I'm just, just a demo. It's the first time I've used it, realistically, so properly so I'll get it all painted cleaned get some thinner metal and then we'll uh, make a few checks you can make aluminium door cards instead of being trimmed in you can make firewalls yeah you know or, you know just make nice patterns in but you have to slow down take your time which is where I need to change that 
pedal as well, but but that's now got serious strength in it, you know. And that's what that would do by putting that cross hatch in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just tightens everything up on the metal. So once, you, so if you welded that in, that wouldn't move at all. But if you just welded a flat piece of metal in, the heat going through it, you'd always find that somewhere in the middle of that floor pan, it'd go plonk, 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 plonk. Really? And by doing that, that, that takes it out? Takes all of that out, yeah. It takes all your flex out. So if you had four of those, you obviously done a lot neater and a bit more practice. Yeah. But in your floor pans, four of those, if you've got a gearbox tunnel running here, you can make them that shape. You know, you can make them, you can make some really good stuff with them actually. But that's just bunging it in the machine and trying it. So yeah. if you sit down, measure it all out properly, you know, get, make sure that these are bang in the centre, mm. mark it all out properly. Yeah, they look good when they're done. I'm good, pleased with that though for a, bit kit. for a freebie, you know. Might water motorising it. But I say all the rust and shit on these, so just clean everything up. Get it all painted up nicely. It'll be a nice bit of kit. Yeah, pleased with that. 